Roaming around one of the most crowded streets of Istanbul, this stray dog is harmless. However, a growing number congregate in packs in streets and rural areas. Their population has reached 4 million across Turkey. Numerous people, including children, have been attacked. Seven-year-old Ikra is one of them. This is how she looked after being attacked by a stray dog 10 months ago. More than the wounds on her face, I prayed that the dog wasn't rabid, because there is no cure for rabies. Your child may die before your eyes. She couldn't go to school for a year and will now repeat her first grade. To prevent similar incidents and deaths, Turkey's parliament approved a controversial bill to regulate millions of stray dogs. They'll be rounded up, put in shelters, and the aggressive or untreatably sick ones will be put down. I don't think they should be put down, but they should rather be taken care of in the shelters. Turkey currently has 322 animal shelters with a capacity for 105,000 dogs, far short of what would be needed to round up millions of strays. If we had started neutering these animals then and stopped breeding, these many dogs wouldn't be on the streets now. The reasons why the streets are not safe today is not the dogs, but the public institutions that do not do their job. For weeks, animal lovers have protested. The government says euthanizing will only take place if stray dogs in shelters are not adopted within a specified deadline. Dogs are territorial and animal lovers describe them as the protectors of Turkish cities. They say if dogs are rounded up and removed, it will only encourage other strays move in and take their territory, possibly bringing unknown diseases with them. In the last three years, over 4,200 stray dog-related incidents have killed 10 people and injured nearly 2,400. And according to the World Health Organization, Turkey is a high-risk country for rabies, and the risk of contact has doubled. Nevertheless, despite her trauma, Ikra doesn't want stray dogs to be put down and still wants to be a veterinarian. Sinem Kosolo, Al Jazeera, Istanbul. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.